Good morning, Calvary. My name is Pastor Johnny. I'm one of the pastors here at Calvary. You know, we can all relate and understand King David here in Psalm 60. Due to some military defeats and setbacks, David had the sense that Israel and he had been cast off by the Lord. There was a sense of abandonment and, and even brokenness. You know, the kind of days and seasons that we often go through in this life. We've all experienced loss, defeat, and setbacks. There are those days and seasons in life when things simply are not going our way. Yet we, like King David here in Psalm 60, would do well to remember to fix our eyes not as much on the problem, but on Jesus. Going to God in prayer is always, always the right thing to do. You know, the prayer, help Lord. <laughs> we all know that prayer. Too often a problem is hard to understand. We may even become confused and discouraged. David didn't exactly understand the military defeats experienced by Israel, but he did understand who to turn to for clarity, and so should we. In the midst of hardship, I often don't get it. I can even become confused. But turning to Jesus, I'll tell you, it brings comfort and a sense of safety and security. It's like he says to me, stop worrying about this problem, Pastor Johnny. I got this. Here in Psalm 60, David cries out to the Lord. He didn't allow a situation to discourage him from turning to God, and neither should we. I have to say, I experienced life change when I started trusting and believing that my God listens to me when I pray. But not because I'm a great prayer warrior or an impressive person, but simply because my God is a great God who cares for me. And let me tell you, church family, He cares for us. You know, the earth may tremble and shake, yet He is the one who brings healing, restoration, and wholeness to our lives. When all is said and done, He is the great God who restores. There is no setback, drawback, broken situation, or tricky problem that He will not navigate us through. King David may have thought for a bit that God had cast off and, and even broken Israel, yet he would not stop seeking God and trusting God. A good friend of mine had a saying, Stop telling God about your problems and start telling your problems about your God. I like what three, Proverbs 3, chapters 5 and 6, I think it says it best. Trust in the Lord with all of your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all of your ways, submit to Him, and He will make your paths straight. I love you, Calvary. The Lord bless you, and keep all of you. Have a wonderful day.